Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be opening up some more repack boxes, but I'm actually gonna be doing some football cards. Uh, last time I did some repack boxes, it was the basketball version of these. So same as last time, it comes with 75 cards plus one pack, and then one in four contain a hit. And I did take a quick look at the side window here. I didn't see any jersey cards from what I could tell, which is usually what's in these boxes. Um, so maybe we have an autograph card for a change, but, um, or we didn't get a hit at all. So that's very possible. I did notice that last time I went to the store, um, I think I went to Walgreens and they actually had new packaging for these and they were actually without a window. So that's probably for the best that way, you know, people don't buy up the, the packs that actually have the Jersey cards in it or whatnot. So it keeps it more of a mystery, which, you know, is better in general. But let's just go ahead and get right into these boxes, and I'll start with this pack here. And I just got done watching the first and second round of the draft, and so far it was pretty exciting, actually, with the new format, you know, trying to make it work. Um, but some surprising draft picks, but, you know, some that were pretty obvious as well. All right, so here's our stack. And we're just going to go ahead and start with first stack we have here. So first card on top is Landon Collins' rookie card from Tops, And then we have a most assist and squeeze play, Tops card. And last time I opened up these cards, there were a lot of um, cards that were just kind of all over the place, which is probably going to be the same. That's a Jim Kelly card. That's pretty cool. We have a green scorecard. A Jerqueen Iglesias Bowman rookie card. David Fulcher. Willie McGinnis. That's a pretty nice card. We have an absolute football of Chris Carter. That's pretty nice. I'll take a Chris Carter. Jacob Tammy. Doug Wilkerson, David Richards. Most of these cards I wouldn't, you know, like the ones I put to the left that would be my highlights. Probably normally wouldn't, but with these kind of cards, you know, you're not gonna get a lot of players that you're actually familiar with. That actually has a little bit of a little shine to it. Dwight Hollier. We have a John Taylor with a card behind him of Maurice Hurst. And then we have a Bowman Chrome of Travis Henry. He was a pretty good player back in like the 05 era. Ooh, we have a Mike Olstock. Nice, he was a good fullback. That's pretty cool, I'll take that. Yeah, last time when I opened up the basketball cards, um, there were a lot of guys that I was unfamiliar with that I had never heard of. Dorsey Levens, so that's kind of like a different feel. Chad Hutchinson. We have a Plaxico Burris. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a rookie card. Really? Nice. That's a Plaxico Burris rookie card. We have a Bowman Chrome quarterback, and that looks to be Mark Bolger. Let's put it there. Well, at least we're getting some decent cards. Ooh, I just saw an autograph card. I was not supposed to see that. That was unexpected. We have a Clay Matthews wild card. Next card here is a Brian Mitchell. And then let's see what that rookie card or that signature card is. It's upside down. It is a Falcon number 32 rookie card. And that is Jalen Collins on sticker Panini, Panini Contenders 2015. So it's relatively a newer player. Not numbered. Yeah, not numbered, but cool. Well, at least we got a signature card. I'm not sure if Jalen Collins is still in the league or not. Um, he, he might be. I'm not too sure, though. But I'll probably take a look after the video just to see for myself. But that's pretty cool that we got a signature card. I was thinking that most of these boxes probably had jersey cards in them. 
but there you have it Jalen Collins so we did get a hit we got quite a bit more cards to go through in this first stack uh, so we'll try to speed it up a little bit here Eric Allen we have a peerless price he was pretty good with the Falcons back in the day a defensive tackle Danny Noonan we have a Jason Campbell Tony Tolbert, Todd McNair. We have a rookie's pairs of Troy Walters and Kinney. Randall McDaniel and Willie Brompton. So that's just the first part of our stack. Next up, we have a score pack 2015 with or, uh, Tony Romo on the cover there. And should be 12 cards. So at least we got a decent... A decent pack to open. What year is this? 2015. So, not bad. At least it's like a newer pack. It's not one of those old, you know, 1992 packs. So, I have a Joseph Randall. We have a Barry Church. Dante Moncrief. We have a... Oh, Danny Woodhead. Okay. It's hard to read the names for a sec. Harry Douglas. Ooh, we have a backwards card of Sean Mannon, quarterback of the Rams. Ah, oh, they got us with that one. So it's a rookie card, but I am not familiar with that player. I, I don't even think he's in the league. I've never heard of him. Franchise Joe Flacco. Not much of a franchise guy now. Brashard Pierman. Philip Dorsett. Devontae Parker. All-time franchise of John Elway. A Jim Kelly gridiron card. I kind of like those gridiron cards. Those are pretty cool. And then Kid Reporter. So, not a bad pack. I kind of thought we had a signature card there for a sec, but that's all right. All right, so we have our last stack here of this first box. We have a Brandon Marshall season ticket. See, at least we're getting, like, newer, like, relatively newer cards, or at least, like, brand cards that we're familiar with. So that's actually, it's actually pretty nice. A lot of these cards are all over the place. Courtney Hall. So you kind of, now we're kind of getting into the older stuff. More players that you might be unfamiliar with, which is kind of what to expect when going through these. We have a pro line. Who's that? Keith Jones. Floyd Turner. Another pro line. Blair Thomas. Messing up the stack here. Just put that off to the side. We have a Mark Murphy, Torrance Small, Tops card, a Vaughn Parker, Eric Rett, James Hasty, Marvin Jones, a Wild Card, Pat O'Hara, or Hara, Stanley Sheriff Richard. So, nothing too crazy in the last part of this. We have an Andre Brown rookie card from Score. And we've, and we've gotten quite a few rookie cards. We have a Kerry Collins insert with a hole in it. <laughs> okay. Yep. So, nothing too crazy to finish off the stack, but... We got that signature card, so it does go to show that signature cards can be in Super Bowl card, can be in these boxes. I was honestly thinking that they'd mainly just do jersey cards, but that is pretty pretty nice surprise to see that they do have some autographs. So in that first box, we got that Jim Kelly. We had this rookie card of Plaxico Burris, that Mike Allstott, Travis Henry, uh, Chris Carter from Absolute, 
We had a rookie card of this guy. I don't know why I put him over here, but he was a rookie. So that's, I guess that was why. That Jim Kelly and Landon Collins rookie card. So nothing too crazy, but we did get that signature card. So let's go ahead and get into our last box here. Now here's our last box. Again, looks like we have a different pack. So that was kind of why I went for these two boxes because they look to have two different packs in them. So we weren't gonna be getting the same pack. And I'm gonna go through this stack of cards a little faster. Just so we don't make the video too long. All right. Hoping that we have a pack that's at least from, that's at least a little relative. All right, so our first stack of cards here. We have a Dan Marino from Don Russ. Chip Banks. A Ken Dilger. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think he's got another card stuck behind him. Yep, that was a nice little rip. Didn't damage it, luckily. Kevin Green. Why are these cards going sideways? We have a Takeo Spikes. He was a pretty good player. I think he was on the Bills at one point. Offensive line of the Lions, Skybox, Derek LaVille, Zach Crockett, Pro Line Card, Frank Reach, Vaughn Johnson, The Collections, Charles McRae. Curtis Duncan, so kind of getting in. Ooh, Dedrick Ward, he was pretty good. Kind of getting into more of the cards that I'm not familiar with. Byron Hansbard. William White. Kyle Clifton. William White. We have a Kevin Hardy. Elvis Grabach, Bentley, Gary. Yep, so a lot more guys that I'm not familiar with. Seahawks, Tony Woods. But this is kind of what I'm used to is seeing, you know, a lot of these older cards. Curtis Conway, he was pretty good. Yeah, he was a nice player. Topps Chrome. Kind of a little parallel of Chad Lewis there. He was a tight end, I think. Brian Jordan, and lastly, Sean Springs. Okay, well, Sean Springs, he played on the Seahawks for a little while. All right, so that's the first part of that stack. We have our pack here, and it is 1991 NFL Football Upper Deck, Premier Edition, Limited Edition, High quality cards, 12 football cards per pack, counterfeit proof cards, random sequencing, tamper proof pack. So this was kind of what I was expecting is one of these older packs. I said 92, this was 91, so kind of what I was expecting. But that's kind of a cool design. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So we have a Game Breakers of Marcus Allen, a Pete Holohan, Pat Beach, the collections, Phil Sims, he's a broadcaster, Dexter Carter, Perry Kemp, Brown, Ken O'Brien, Bruce Hill, and Randall Cunningham, team MVP. So that first card was pretty cool though. Yeah, that was pretty nice. All right, so we're getting into the last part of this box. The cards look all flipped around like they should be. Um, most of these are. So I'm not expecting a signature card in this stack, but we'll see if we have any good rookies potentially. Martellus Bennett, Julian Edelman, Jordan Reed, Carlos Clay, Coleman. Yeah, they're all just. Brandon Cooks, Topps Chrome. That's pretty cool. We have a Frank H. Fleer, 
of Rod Woodson. That's pretty cool, actually. Probably not going to spend uh, much more time flipping these guys around. Morris, Everett Lindsay, Hassan Jones. Ooh, we have DJ Hackett, Lance Glenn, Colt McCoy. I see a Steve Smith. They have all these cards flipped around. At least they're all upside right. Mm -hmm. Santana Moss, Mario Fannin. That's a hit card. Ooh, we have a Colin Kaepernick. That's a cutout card. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. We have a rookie card of Matt Khalil. Tonio Bethia. We have a Topps Titanium Steve Smith card. That's pretty nice. Not bad. Ooh, we have a Kyle Rudolph. Not bad. So we're getting a couple of decent cards in this last part of the stack. We have an Aenus Williams. He was a good player. I think he went to the Rams towards the end of his career. Saints or the Rams. So maybe James Harrison, All Pro 2010, Tops Chrome. That's pretty cool. Vincent Jackson. Ben Jarvis Green. Another Santana Moss, Tops Platinum. I think that's what the word was before. Mike Thomas. Jason Witten, CJ Spiller, Jared Allen, all pro. That's pretty cool. Aaron Brooks, heritage card. And Stefan Page to finish it off. So no hit in that last box, but I think we got a little, I think we got better variety in the first box, but um, a couple of the cards that I liked personally was Jared Allen, Vincent Jackson, that James Harrison, Kyle Rudolph, Steve Smith, and then that cutout absolute twenty or absolute football twenty fourteen of Colin Kaepernick. That was pretty cool too. That little cutout card. So a couple of good cards we got in each of those boxes, including the signature card that we got in the first box. So not too bad. I'm not too sure if this guy's still playing. This is from twenty fifteen. Um, of Jalen Collins from the Falcons. So I'll go ahead and look him up after this video, see if he is still playing or not. But that'll pretty much do it for this video, you guys. I appreciate anybody who is watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys next time.